I was first concerned when he was, um, he was like a little bit for one. He wasn't talking that much. So we went to the pediatrician and I asked him and uh, then they referred us to get an evaluation done. And we went to Racker and we met his speech therapist actually. And yep. it was Allison, which is wonderful. She was awesome. <laughs> she was awesome. And um, she did an evaluation for Grayson there and they approved it. And then we received services at our house. So he had speech, he had an OT, um, a special education teacher. And there was a coordinator in the beginning. And I remember they found one of the therapists, they had an open spot. And then they first come to the house and we just talked to them and then they started seeing Grayson, so. Oh, very easy. There was process. nothing difficult about it, yeah. so. I mean, when I first heard of Racker, I just thought that it was uh, just like a daycare and preschool. Yeah, I didn't realize how extensive it was <laughs> yeah. and all the uh, programs they offer and yeah. stuff like that. He did really good. I mean, I thought he was gonna be like crying when we dropped him off and he's always just like, bye mom. And I'm like, okay, like and he, I'm not ready to go wait yet. To get rid of us. Yeah. <laughs> he, want, he wanted to be there every yeah. day. And then there's days, cause he has a hard time with transitioning. So I tell him like, oh, there's no school, it's the weekend. And he would get upset and, um, which I'm not upset that he's getting upset about not, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not hating school. But um, yeah, he loved going. And then when it was time for him to transition into kindergarten, I was trying to tell him that we're not gonna go to Racker anymore. And uh, the last day of school, which I don't wanna start crying, but he went up to some of the teachers and aides and just went like, I'm gonna miss you so much. And it's just- it, <laughs> The cutest thing. Yeah, I mean, I didn't tell him to do any of this. So that just, it makes me happy that he's like understanding this stuff. Well, and, and he had such a, so conne sweet. a connection with everybody too. Yeah. Like they're, they're so caring and loving and everybody really goes out of their way to help each other. So that's amazing. You know, it wasn't overnight, but I mean, in a year's time, he's he's grown leaps and bounds, and yeah. it's really because of Racker Center. I mean, circle time, he had a hard time. He didn't ever want to sit, and uh, eventually he would start sitting with everybody. He had to have a few toys he in his hands, toys. but he was sitting. And towards the end, he, he didn't have a toy at all. Yeah. He would sit perfectly. They were getting him ready for kindergarten because they knew kindergarten, you can't bring toys into the circle. His speech is still delayed, so that was one of my other concerns too with him. And um, the speech therapist, I would ask them if like, they were working on certain things. And a lot of times they would say, because uh, he doesn't understand that when asking for something, like give me, that can be sort of... Rude? Not, yeah, it's not the most <laughs> politest way to say it. And uh, so you have to say, can I have, and then you have to break it down for him. And we're getting him to do that. It's still taking some time, but he's doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> so his teacher, Katie, she gave us some helpful things for him and yeah Katie is amazing she's yeah. such a good teacher I'm just glad there's people that know what they're doing because I I try everything but I'm they're the professionals at this so yep. mm -hmm. and um, I mean no kid comes with a playbook or a guidebook but they the tools that they instilled at us really help us you know figure out him a little bit more and uh, it, it's just it was a, a stunning to watch them work with him and the, the, the amount of change that he went through his speech has gotten so far yeah. along. He's playing with other kids at a playground now, yeah. and it's kids he doesn't even know, which... Yeah, be before he kind of kept to himself a lot. Yeah. And I think the Racker Center is really, you know, a milestone for me is it really taught him how to interact with all these other children and stuff yeah. like that. That's amazing. Yeah. If it was a year ago, transitioning him to get into kindergarten, it would have been a train wreck. It would have been, whole, you know, yeah. a, a nightmare. Well, I was but they, like, yeah, they, phone they, calls or something. Exactly, and, and they, they, the they prepared him so well for yeah. that transition that, you know, we didn't get that phone call the first couple no. of days or even a week later, you yeah. know. He's so prepared and I think, you know, uh, Racker has so much to do with that. Yeah. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody at the Racker Center. Um, it was just an amazing experience. Every day, like they were so, uh, every day that they were just so inviting and welcoming and they worked their butts off and the real stars are all those people, the people that do the day to day and really change my child's life and change your child's life.